until we find the revolting man in his native habitat. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. He's he's out he's out chopping my my camera skills. Oh, That's right. There you so go. Here's See. the lesson: the important things are always boring. <laughs> no joke. The everybody thinks, oh, I planted a garden and now I get to eat food. There's a. Uh, Let's see, let me go behind him here. See all the dead ones? They didn't used to be dead. There's a bunch of dirt out here that doesn't have anything growing on it. That's because he's been using that magic stick. Yeah. People, people ask, how do, you, how do you keep the weeds out of the garden? <laughs> yeah, yeah, chop them or chop them, pull them or, you know, you can't exactly put broadcast roundup out here. It kind of like messes up the corn. Yeah, it will, yeah, it defeats the whole purpose of what we're trying to do here too. Yeah. But you know, we all like to talk about guns, and we all like to talk about bug out, and those things are important. But this is the reality of what most of us are trying to do. That's uh, what. What do they say now? Uh, uh, survivalists grow into preppers. Preppers go into homesteaders when they grow up. Yeah. And then we want to go back to just being preppers. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, no, no, this sucks. This sucks. I want to go back to other stuff. I just want a gun and a flashlight. Now, let me go buy gear. That's what I want to I do. Want I want to buy gear. I'd like to buy gear, all right, but mine says John Deere. I want one of those little 30 series tractors. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to have a little tractor. That'd make all this a lot easier. Of course, at some point, you just got to start hoeing. What's, uh, for those of us who get our wisdom from the Bible, it says, by toil we shall get our bread from the earth. That's a paraphrase. Yeah. But there's just no easy way to do this. It's part of the curse. What's the people, are, oh, I'll get a tractor and I'll do it. Spend eight hours a day on a tractor for 10 years. You wind up with this. It's a condition they call tractor back. Really? It's a thing, huh? Yeah, it's a thing. Uh -huh. So nothing's, I mean, ain't nothing comes free. Nothing comes easy. Uh -uh. You know, the thing with a garden this size is that it's almost too small for a tractor and it's it's almost too big to work by hand. You're right at the the break point, man. Yeah. When them kids get a little older, the ones that are still in the house, you know, they'll start hating me for because they're going to spend a lot of time up here. And they'll be like, what are you doing? <laughs> but it's good for them. Oh, yeah. They won't, they won't appreciate it until they're older, but they're already kind of helpful. They're just not... Horribly yeah. helpful yet. Yeah. Well, there's, you know, they could help you get rid of all this grass over here. <laughs> That's weed. <laughs> now, I'm I'm a little sensitive about this issue because the very first time we planted wheat, I planted it up there. And one of the kids was up here weeding and poor girl thought that that was a big patch of grass. And it was the hardest work she did all year, uh, hoeing my weed up. <laughs> so now I'm like, get away from my wheat. It's out. Dang, it? Yeah, there's a nice, nice spikes on those. And they have grabbed a freaking wasp. If you get down at the base, you can. Yeah. Change it. But even, there's still spikes down there. You just. Man, you got serious carrots we do. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a trade-off to everything. We got this nice long growing season, but our weeds are vicious, literally. That's only one of the thorn varieties of weeds we have <laughs> here. There's another one. Well, this particular careless weed yeah. is actually brought from Europe and the seeds are gathered and they make flour out of them. Huh. Just so you'll know. I'll keep that in mind. Do not try to make greens of the leaves because they're bitter as can be. Really? But the seeds are, it's a lot of work though because you got to get the stickers, the seeds are the stickers. You get them off and then you got to get the seed out of the stinking sticker. Uh -huh. I don't know why they'd want to go through all that, but they did. Mm. I guess maybe because they were hungry. You do a lot of crazy things when you're hungry. But but this is the reality of... I, I, let me come back in the camera here. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to... I this is the trace. reality of homesteading slash living off grid. You know, it's... It's not... Who was... Have you ever seen that chick, Starry Hilder? Uh, man, I don't know. There's so many of them out there that I was watching. I'm just like, okay, never mind. She, she, had, a, <laughs> she had a homestead channel for a while. And she had this beautiful homestead with this gorgeous little ca cabin and her, her gardens were always perfect and her video, she was always down in the dirt, you know, all dolled up and pretty and, you know, she was like the 
Bob, uh, who was that painter guy with his happy little class? Bob Marley, yeah. No, not Bob Marley. No, no, Bob. Uh, 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 that was the rapper. Or rapper. The, or Bob, uh, uh, I'm going to say Saget now, but it's not Saget. Anyway, the, you know, the painter guy with his happy little clouds, ah, that's going to drive me nuts. Bob something. She was like him of, of homesteading, you know, she was always, you know, kneeling in the dirt, you know, perfectly coiffed with all her jewelry on and with her happy little plants. I just think, <laughs> that has not been my reality so far. <laughs> Mine either. You know that guy was a drill sergeant? Literally, uh... Oh, Bob, yeah, he was, he was in the army in Vietnam and, uh... Yeah, he saw some serious combat. And he just decided he wasn't yelling at nobody anymore. Yeah, he was done. I'm just going to go paint happy little painting. Well, the the story is, uh, damn it, I can't remember his name either, but uh, nip it in the bud. Barney Fife. What was his, what, I can't remember that actor's name now either. That always happens when you're in camera. Yeah. But the Barney Fife actor was a drill instructor in the Marine Corps. And Mr. Rogers, and I have not done the research on this yet, but I have been told that Mr. Rogers was uh, was also in the Marines and, and saw some serious combat. I, I do not know the truth of that. I, I have never looked it up. That's the reason he always wore sweaters in uh, series. Suppose he had tattoos on his arms. Yeah, tattoos, he had uh, Marine Corps tattoos on his arms. So, uh, uh, I would have to look that up to be sure, though. Eh, yeah. But sometimes, you know, you go so far one way, you got to go the other way. You got to go the other way. All right, guys. He's going to chop weeds, and I'm going to stand here and drink my beer. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I'm going to do other stuff. He's talking about taking me to a mountain and pushing me off or something. I don't yeah. know what that was all about. Curry! <laughs> yeah, that one. So, uh, he said, you're going to need some rope and a couple of bed sheets. I don't know what. <laughs> so, anyway. I don't know what the bed sheets are for, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what the rope's all about. I can think of what we need the rope for. Y'all yeah. uh, stay alive out there. Don't die. Get you a good hoe. <laughs> oh, yeah. A good hoe. Like the battle hoe. <laughs> there you go.